Hello and welcome to my reaction to episode 41 of Yu Yu Aku Show. Um, yeah, I just re re recorded episode 40. If you've watched my reaction, you've seen that at the end my, uh, my phone fell down because of my dog. Uh, good thing my phone is okay. Basically, my phone is on a tripod and uh, it's not a regular straight tripod, it's a spider tripod. So the legs are um, very... Uh, movable and adjustable for example you can wrap them around uh, something if you will to have a very interesting angle so while this is cool when you try to use it as a normal tripod uh, they're not exactly straight so it's not the most stable thing and that's how it fell down but anyway that was last episode so um, Yusuke is still fighting Jin and now it's building, building up to something I'm expecting the shotgun, but they've been teasing it, this technique, so maybe it's not. Maybe it's something that you learn uh, during his training for two months, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, episode 41, uh, Kiss Enemy version, there is no Kiss Enemy intro. Let's get into this in 3, 2, 1. And as always, if you like my reaction and want to support me, I have a Patreon. Link in the description, as always. That would mean a lot, definitely. I still can't believe that this arc is gonna go up to episode 66, meaning we still have a 25 26 episode to watch, which is basically a, a whole fucking show on his own. Yeah, today I'm gonna try to finish this uh, run, so we'll see the fight with Jin and the next one. I mean, I think this episode, the fight with Jin should should be over. And next, uh, we've got the last guy, which, since he's the last guy, I assume is the strongest one. But I'm not so sure. I don't know. We'll see. No, no need to speculate. Also, something I haven't pointed out, but that's kind of weird. Obviously, there is the dark tournament part in the opening, but for some reason, the, there's no people in the stand. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I guess I don't like how after the opening they do a recap, then the title of the episode, and then some more recap. I don't like that they do that. I'd rather they do all the recap, and then the title of the episode, and then we get to new stuff. But it's not that big of a deal, just a minor, a minor thing. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you suke. Nice. I can actually read it. Some basic uh, katakana and hiragana.
Nope. Otherwise, uh, there would be no point. Yosuke has to remain undefeated until he fights Toguro. What? Ow. I don't get it. I don't get it. It was shown before that just even being scratched by it, you would be sent flying uncontrollably. And now he actually can just stop it head on like that. That was dumb. Oh, is there an explanation? Yeah. That's new. I mean, you should start counting to continue. Is in the air, but it uh, is outside of the. What? The sister seems to be able to see things coming. Okay. Is he done? Okay. So I guess no explanation on how the whirlwind didn't actually send him flying. <sighs> I'm sorry if I'm pissing anyone off by being so nitpicky, but it matters to me. I mean, I'm willing to accept some stuff like gravity not really mattering in shonen like that you know like people jumping and doing crazy shit that they can't do for some reason but stuff like that where you could have an explanation or something it pissed me off a bit okay he's done faster than expected and less of a challenge than expected, I mean. Yusuke is still pretty good. I think he only has one shot left. So is he gonna fight the last one or... He is gonna be able to he and uh, whoever that is are going to be able to get out.
the fuck are they gonna pull out again? Or I guess... Oh shit, I was actually thinking about it earlier. I was literally thinking about it earlier, thinking uh, when I was, maybe it was an episode earlier, when I was saying it would be interesting to have someone that can heal them, and I was thinking about her. So maybe between round, I guess. And, okay, I guess Yusuke is fighting it. Let's see. Nah, you look like shit. But I imagine you will still be a challenge. What? What? Oh my god, I'm gonna pull some shit, of course. But what does that mean? Once again, I'm confused again. If it is a fight to actually beating uh, everyone on the other team, what does it matter? Does that mean that Yusuke is out because of that? I mean, there's still Kuabala. I forgot. Is Kurabara gonna stay up? I think that might be it. Man, at least they're doing good at uh, pissing me off uh, in the good way, in the cheating way, you know. She's a good girl. What a fucking pain. As if it wasn't already hard enough, like I said before. Okay. Okay. Good. No? It's just peace, but it's not gonna do anything? <laughs> yeah. I guess he's dead. I mean, makes sense. To be expected. Okay. So what is that technique? I do think Kuwabara is gonna step up. Because, yeah, he's not disqualified, he's not lost or anything. He's extremely fucked up, but... Is technically in the team.
<laughs> nice shots, okay. That's good. That's the closest to French service uh, we've got so far. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I'm with you too. She's not gonna fight, right? Or maybe she's gonna heal Quabola so he can fight. Actually, in real life, the referee has the power to choose in real MMA and stuff like that, you know. The referee is the authority. Yeah. My man. Nah, you're useless as shit. Huh? He doesn't care. He's a man among men. As much as I like her, she's useless. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess that makes more sense than your first sentence. Okay. Yeah, yeah, does it? And even if Yukina doesn't heal him, she's gonna cheer him on, and that's gonna help. Literally what I was talking about earlier, that we would need a healer, and that we were smart. Oh, okay. And that's fine, there is no reason to keep it hidden. I mean, the only reason he doesn't want to reveal to her that he's his brother is because with the bad thing he's done, he's thinking she's not gonna forgive him, but obviously she's going to, come on. <laughs> I 
That's the face. Old school reaction face. Damn, okay. I wonder if she will f fight at some point. Probably not, but she has potential, you could say. This should be quite epic. Seeing how, how fucked up he is and how much of himself he is going to have to give to win this. Fuck you. This looks pretty weird. His body looks too small compared to his leg right now. This looks pretty weird. That's not a very good shot to end this, but okay. I mean, this is a long running shonen, so I won't complain too bad about dropping quality there and there. There have been, I mean, it's been mixed so far, you know. This is not the best looking show of the 90s, definitely. Uh, but it's fine, like. It's fine for what it is. It does its job pretty well. Like I said, the most impressed that I've been is with uh, one or two episodes ago, the when there was a uh, Jin just going around and the wind was making many, many character clothes moving and the way the clothes was moving was pretty cool. Obviously, it's kind of basic. Uh, it's only like you can do it with very few frames, you know, to, to do uh, moving clothes like that. But still, it was looking pretty good. I like that. Anyway, that was a good one, and this is hype. Mm. This is very hype. As I said before, Kuwabara is my straight character, and he keep getting, uh, he keep, uh, I guess, cementing that favorite male character. I say we like Botan, but like I said, unfortunately, she's useless. That's one of my gripes with the show. I wish she could do something. Like anything. Alright, yeah, gonna watch the next one, so thanks for watching, and see you in that next one.